Everybody knows that mother's milk is the natural, healthiest food for babies. Or they should. <laughs> should indeed. When babies don't nurse, they're given sterile formula that's made from pasteurized cow's milk, unless the baby is allergic. And when I had my babies, there was a lot of emphasis on germs. And when breastfeeding, mothers were told that it was important to cleanse their nipples before they fed their babies. Yeah, they were fanatical about germs. Well, now pasteurized milk kills all the bacteria in the cow's milk. And if given to a calf, the calf dies in a matter of just a few weeks. Yet we feed this to our baby. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And a new study was just released showing the importance of microbial richness in a newborn's milk. So tell us about this Spanish research study. Yeah, this is a great study, Vicki. It was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in December 2012. And basically what they found that there are 700 species of bacteria in, in mother's milk, particularly in the in the milk of the first few days, which is called colostrum. So that means that there's probably something like billions. Trillions. Trillions. Trillions, yeah. There would be... Uh, as many uh, microbes in breast milk as there are probably cells in our body. I mean, there are that wow. many microbes there. And, of course, we've always thought that germs are bad. As soon as Pasteur found out about the, the bacteria that were in the, that caused certain illnesses, we just assumed that germs were our enemy. But as it turns out, they're our friend. And they become a problem when they overgrow uh, so that there are amounts that are making a, a lot of product that could be toxic to us. Uh, or if our bodies are weak, but otherwise they serve a great purpose. We need them. seems like we've been talking a lot lately about friendly uh, bacteria, probiotics. I mean, there's so many things that probiotics are good for, and this actually is going to colonize the infant's intestinal tract. Exactly. So there's a, a lot of purpose that goes with uh, having, uh, pro having probiotics in our system. We have bacteria in every organ system in our body, basically. It's in our skin, it's in our GI tract, it's in the vagina, it's in the eyes and ears. It's every place, and it's even in our blood. You know, most of the doctors think that blood is sterile, but it's not. When you look at a live blood cell analysis, you see a lot of microbes in there, and you may see more if the, if the person's immune system isn't strong, but we live in a symbiotic relationship, Vicki with these bugs in a, in a way that they do us good and we do them good. Well, what influences, what are the factors that, in, that influence the microbes in the breast milk? Well, in breast milk, it's probably what the mother consumes in her diet uh, as, as a major thing. It would be her, her immune system itself to see how strong it is. I remember one of the studies was talking about how when she was in labor, she would put out more probiotics. Mm -hmm. And if she had a C-section that was planned, she would have fewer probiotics. If she'd have the same, oh, if it was planned, that's planned. right. Yeah. But if she had an emergency C-section, then... It was still a lot of them. Yeah, then, then there were more. Right. So, so the hormones must influence them. Well, that's part of it. And, and it's, uh, I mean, there are a lot of factors, antibiotics, drugs that we take have a profound effect on it. If we have something called IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, or inflammatory bowel uh, problems, there's a, a lot of problem there. So we're looking at something that is a very powerful uh, ally to us. We live in a sea of microbes, and, and we do a lot of things to help microbes, and, and we can't get along without them. Well, some of the things that they do, too, is to help to reduce allergies, mm -hmm. you know, and asthma. Mm -hmm. Um, autoimmune diseases. Absolutely. What are some of the other things that uh, probiotics do? Well, they can help us to uh, crowd out the bad bacteria, the ones that we don't want to have uh, in our body, and keep them from overgrowing. Uh, they make certain kinds of vitamins, the B vitamins and vitamin K, uh, and biotin. Uh, they they do a lot of things. They detoxify a lot of the carcinogens that our body has has in it. They've even found that probiotics are good for anxiety and for and for <laughs> overweight, well, depression. Well, they're associated with that. And so when you see somebody who has heart disease or uh, cancer or uh, diabetes, there are certain f uh, patterns that you see in the microflora of the gut that tell you that this is probably happening in that person. And the question is, is can we modify uh, the bacteria in the intestinal tract and change the course of the illness. That's the way medicine is moving these days. So it's a profound thing. 
So nature knows best, you know. We need to listen to Mother Nature. <laughs> Indeed. And if we do, chances are that we're going to start doing things more naturally. And in another uh, video that we're going to be making shortly, talking about infant formula, you'll see how it's just a joke to think that infant, infant formula can come anywhere near uh, close to what we can do uh, as Mother Nature makes breast milk. So breast milk is a probiotic. It's also got a lot of other factors. 